Hey guys, Taro Airsoft LB here today, and I bring you a review of my uh, SPR right here. It's custom made. Um, it's not complete yet. I plan on getting a few more parts for it, and I'll make an update video on that. But right now, I'm gonna show you this gun. Um, I have a full stock in here and it houses an 11.1 .1 LiPo um, I like full stocks on guns like these I've seen SPRs with crane stocks but um, I'm not really into them and from there we go into this I have a G&G super high torque motor in there and I'll get why it needs to be super high torque in a minute but it's covered by this really really ergonomic pistol grip and uh, it feels really, really good, actually. I, I like it a lot. Um, let me go into here. It's full metal, upper and lower. And inside, we have a Matrix M150 gearbox in there. Um, yeah, that <laughs> it's powerful. I crowned it in, and it was shooting about 530-ish in that area. And um, I was not allowed on the field. But I'm um, putting in a new spring soon. And then um, from that, I have a Mad Bull Ultimate Hop Up. If I flip it around here. Hold on. Okay, I got a uh, Mad Bull Ultimate Hop Up in there. You can see because of this wheel right here. And uh, that thing is uh, the best hop up, I swear. Like, it added like a 10% increase in FPS. It's just. It's insane. It's a great hop-up system. I really recommend getting it. And uh, connected to that hop-up is a 500 millimeter tight bore. And I know you're probably saying, how does a tight bore fit in there? Well, uh, and that's where this comes in. It's a silent option. NATO. Right there. It's pretty good. And um, if I unscrew that right now. I have the silencer, or the barrel actually runs the complete length of that whole silencer. So, um, it's quite a long barrel. It's <laughs> incredibly accurate, and um, I definitely recommend if anybody's going to get an SPR, um, if they want extra barrel length and they don't have space in their gun, run it through the silencer. Definitely worth it. And I actually had it. I had to add a barrel segment right here. I normally have um, a longer one that's actually about this long, connected to a shorter one, um, and that's what I ran with with uh, my bipod, which actually broke off, unfortunately. But um, now I have on this AFG by Magpul, and it is great. It's a very comfortable vertical grip. Okay, now I have this tubular front kit on there, and um, that this gun was originally a ANK um, a Mod Zero, I believe it was, and uh, I just really like the look of this tubular front stock or front um, handguard, and I it's just a great look to a gun, so I decided let's convert it, and I basically swapped out every single internal part in there, just the externals. This is actually a lower from a different M4 of mine but this whole upper kit and this monolithic top rail were all came with the gun. Now on top I have this scope and it's a Bushnell, that one. Crazy scope. Um, I actually left it on unfortunately and the batteries ran out but it illuminates red and green yeah, and um, it's it's insane. And I'm actually, one of the parts that I'm going to get is a riser that I'm going to put right here so I can have some mask space and bring the scope back a little bit because, as you can see now, it takes up the whole monolithic top rail. Thank God I have a monolithic top rail. But um, sometimes I run with an ACOG on this, and it's kind of a different look with that. It's more sniper-like with the scope. Um, so that's why I keep running with that. And, um, like a lot of my guns that I think you guys have seen, 
um, I like to sticker them up and kind of make them my own so that's what I've done um, I do plan on getting um, a new air, air nozzle probably a Sistema bore up air nozzle um, and, and miscellaneous upgrades for the internals but um, right now um, yeah I just that's how I have it right now so I actually have this small mag in there right now because uh, uh, like I said before, it's more sniper-like. And, um, yeah, that wraps it up for this gun. And um, I'll get a shooting test soon. Probably once I complete the gun. Alright, guys, Taru Airsoft LB, signing out. Peace.